Good morning, YouTube. It is 4.07. On this uh, Tuesday, today's Tuesday. Today, for way too early for explanations. Uh, it's another 3D printing episode. More updates in 3D printing. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome space the electrons light. The magnetism all particles and momentum of receptors radiation are mathematic a solution. Asteroid. What am I doing up? Uh so 3D printing, uh they're they're doing doing more things with 3D printing. Um uh, and all this has to do with space. So, uh, real quick, uh, NASA emailed a uh, design for a socket wrench up to the International Space Station uh, <laughs> uh, because I guess they needed a socket wrench. And uh, either they're printing it out or they already printed out the socket wrench and they're going to use the socket wrench. So, again, before we talked about how um, they were going to print off these uh, these samples or these coupons that they call uh, segments of material here on Earth as well as up on the space station. And compare the two, right? Uh, well, they're already just they're going to make uh, they're already making this tool uh, to use on the station, and it just shows how they don't have to have spare parts up there anymore. Uh, either spare parts or spare tools they just need to you know they just need to have material up there and just print it off um, so I'll link that article uh, that was kind of fun to to watch uh, or to to read but then uh, the other thing that they're trying to work on is you know they now that now that they can print or now that you know they're working on printing again it, now you have to worry about getting the material and if you're on the space station um, you really can't get around that. You're going to have to send material up there. Um, but it's nice because you can just have material and not have all these spare parts. That's kind of cool. When we get out to, um, when we start putting bases on the moon or on Mars or wherever else we're going to be, um, sending material out there will be cost prohibitive. It's, you know, it just gets expensive to send all this stuff. So they're trying to find a way where they can use the material that they find there and not have to transport material. So, um, I uh, the the first the first uh, thing they're gonna do they're looking at moon moon material, uh, but they're not using the material that we pulled off the moon. We don't we don't have that much. Uh, we we have a synthetic material that we make here that resembles moon they call it regolith I think that's how you say it and regolith is just like the dust and the um, and the dirt and the you know that just that layer of stuff that sort of sits on the surface there uh, well we've we've synthetically created that based on the size of the of the grains and the the chemical makeup and you know all that kind of stuff and they you know they they took a bunch of that stuff heated it up uh you know glooped it into a shape that they wanted and tested it um and i guess it works uh the design that they use isn't that impressive it's sort of like this cone shaped pile of stuff <laughs> um but you know they they basically they they showed that they could do it. They could collect this regolith. And regolith is sort of like, think of sand, basically. Uh, but it's not uniform size of the grains. You know, they took it, heated it up, uh, put it down in a shape, and uh, and the shape held. So, uh, you know, first step forward, they're going to look at uh, using other materials. Um, but really the ultimate test is to get out there. That's kind of scary. Um, to get at that, get out there with a, with a 3D printer, uh, collect the material that they find on the ground and see if that'll work. Um, yeah. Um, 
I guess the the regolith once you heat it up and you and you form it 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 resembles basalt. I think I said that right, which is a kind of rock that we have here. We we see that rock around volcanic um, formations and whatnot. And so so a couple things here. Uh, we might be able to use volcanic rock that we find here to construct um, buildings for cheap instead of trying to fly in material. But also, when we get out to other planets and other moons, um, we could use usually we can use that material uh, to start to to build structure, to build stuff, to build tools and equipment and um, houses and 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 stuff like that. So another step forward. Uh, again, three D printing making things possible for us, making things less expensive for us. So, uh, There we go. I got to go get to work. You got to go do whatever it is you do. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for watching another episode of Way Too Early for Explanations. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down here. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll post links at the bottom of the description field. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button around here. If you want to get to my channel to see more videos, you can click on the link to Way Too Early for Explanations, or you can click on the eye chart that shows up in the upper right hand corner. Every morning I try to kick out more videos, um, so stay tuned and come on back if you want to observe more early morning technobabble. Thanks again.